What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Joy. As you can tell by the title, I'm doing a makeup routine for beginners. And this is the look. So I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this. It's very natural, very plain, very simple. Um, with drugstore makeup, everything was affordable. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and watch the entire video. First off, I like to cleanse my face using the Cetaphil Cleansing Wipes which you can find in the pharmacy or your beauty supply store, or even on Amazon. All the products I'll be using in this video can be found at those places, and I put clips of them individually just so you guys see what they are. I was going to link them in the comments, but that's so much work. So I recorded each one, and it's easy for you guys to find. After my face has dried, I'm going in with my moisturizer, which I use Cetaphil Moisturizer Lotion. And I'm also going to go with my prescribed gel, which just adds more moisture to my face and evens out my skin tone. So while I'm doing this voiceover, I'm just like, damn girl, you have your track showing and waist at the side showing. Y'all, bear with me. I have to fix up this wig. I have to fix the sewing, so not too much. But at Style by Joy on Instagram, I hand make wigs and they fire. They last long. This wig has lasted me a very, very long time. So go book. Now I'm going in with Milk of Magnesia. It's a laxative, but it can be used on the skin. My cousin, who's a makeup artist, put me onto this, and I honestly love it. I guess it's used as like a primer. So, yeah, but it honestly works. Like, it definitely works wonders. So I definitely recommend getting it. And a little goes a long way with it. All you have to do is get your brush and apply a little bit onto your face and allow it to dry. Okay, so this is the eyebrow pencil I use, and it can be found at your local beauty supply store. And I just use this to go in and darken my eyebrows and define the shape of my eyebrows more. So this is a concealer that I use, it's Pro Concealer, and this can be found at your local beauty supply store. I have it in the shade Fawn, and I use this at the bottom of my brows to just conceal it. And I don't really do it at the top, I know most people do, but because I want this to be a natural look, I just stick to it on the bottom. And as you can see, when applying this concealer, I don't put it too close to my brows at first, just because I don't want to mess up the shape that I have already created with the eyebrow pencil. So I put it a bit under my brows, and then I go in and I spread it out closer to my actual eyebrow. Now I'm going in with my small eyeshadow brush and my setting spray and I'm going to spray the brush just so it's wet because you never really want to work with a dry brush. You want them to be damp. Even a beauty blender you always spray it. And I'm just going in and I'm going to blend out this concealer onto my eyebrows. And to blend it out, I honestly don't have any specific way I do it. As you guys can see, I'm just going side by side and maybe pushing a bit of the concealer down onto my eyelids. And for my eyelids, I honestly don't do anything because my eyelids have a natural darker color. So I just leave it as is. And it works for me. It might not work for you. But if it doesn't, you could drag out your concealer onto your eyelids. After 
after blending out the concealer with my brush, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender to help blend out the concealer even more just so that the concealer is very seamless. Once the milk of magnesia has dried on my face, I'm going to go in with my foundations and apply the foundation just a little bit because honestly a little bit goes a long way, especially with the look I'm going for. So I have two different shades of foundation I use. I use the Fit Me 360 and the Fit Me 358. I found out when I mix both of them, it fits my exact skin tone and it's perfect because the 360 is honestly too dark and the 358 is a bit too bright. So I mix them and it works perfectly. For my foundation brush, as I told you guys, I use a setting spray and I make sure the brush is damp and I kind of spray it while like blending the foundation into my skin so you'll see me spray it a couple of times. And I'm just going to go in and pat that foundation into my face a millions and millions of times just to make sure it's blended properly. Now I'm going to go on with the Born This Way Concealer in the color Chestnut and this is honestly my first time using it to do a full beat and I could say it's an 8 out of 10. I feel like I need a different shade. I'm not too sure. If you're a makeup artist, you can let me know if this is my color and it's just me. I'm not sure. It gave me a bit of an orange like undertone type of pigment. Kind of didn't like it but it still ended up looking great so watch the entire video to see how this look turned out. But I'm going to apply the concealer under my eyes, on my nose, my forehead, my upper lip, and my chin. And then I will go in and let the concealer sit for a bit before I start blending it. As you guys can also see here, I'm going to go in with my regular concealer, which is the LA Pro in the shade Fawn. And I'm just going to put it over the Born This Way just in case because I was honestly very skeptical about using it. But I just trusted the process. So now I'm going in with my damped angle brush and I'm going to use the brush to blend out the concealer under my eyes. Like I said, I don't have any specific way that I blend out this concealer, but I am going to go closer to my eyelids, well the bottom of my eyes, just to make sure that the concealer gets under there as well and it's not a different shade than the rest of my under eye. So for this part, just take your time, it honestly takes a lot of time to really blend it in fully so that it's very seamless. Ooh. Ooh. 
Now I'm going in with my True Complexion Cream Contour Palette in the colors Medium to Dark. And I'm just going to use the one that says Contour, which is the darkest shade. I'm going to use that to contour my face. I go around my jawline. I think it's your cheekbones and just around the perimeter of your hairline. There's a room full of niggas. What you follow? And then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm going to use the same contour to contour my nose. And honestly, I don't know how to contour my nose, but I know you're supposed to put the contour around the side. So that's what I did. And the concealer goes in the middle. But like I said, this works for me and it could work for you as well. So that's where I put the contour and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to blend out the concealer under my eyes and everywhere else a bit more with my beauty blender after I've let it sit there for a while. And again, my beauty blender is damped. Projectors. I guess we'll never know what Harvard gets us. But seeing my family have it all took the place of that desire for diplomas on the wall. And really, I think I like who I'm becoming. There's times where I might do it just to do it like it's nothing. There's times where I might blow like 50K on a vacation for all my soldiers just to see the looks on all their faces. All it took was patience. I got a lot of friends to come up off the strip for me. The same ones that'll come up off and hit for me. The real say your lyrics do shit for me. I told my story. I decided not to speed up this part of the clip just so you guys can see the actual speed I am going in when it comes to blending out this concealer. It honestly takes time, but if you want your concealer to be blended out fully and it to be seamless, you just have to bear with the time, honestly, because I was so tired of blending and this is really my least favorite part because I'm just padding away for minutes and minutes and minutes, but y'all, it's worth the wait. It's worth all the padding, so... Just take your time and go ahead and blend it out fully. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my large eyeshadow brush to add more contour to my nose because I felt like I honestly just didn't add enough contour the first time and like I said I don't know how to really contour my nose so I was kind of too afraid to use too much at a time but if I feel the need to I would just go back in and continue adding more contour until I get my desired look so here I'm just blending in the contour to my nose just because I know one have that dark line and I blend it up and down my nose and I bring it a bit under my eyebrows. And I just do that on both sides. And that's basically all I do for my nose. So now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I could honestly say this is one of the best setting powders I've ever used. And I've tried many setting powders, spent so much money on different ones, and I didn't like anyone. But this one right here, fell in love with it as soon as I used it. I applied the setting powder under my eyes 
And I don't really dab in the setting powder when I put it on. I just place it onto my skin and I let it sit there for a bit. And I'm also applying some at the corners of my nose where I contour. I'm then going to go in and add some more setting powder along my jaw lines. I make a straight line from the side of my lip to kind of my the bottom of my ear. And I do that on both sides. And I also go in and add some setting powder at the sides of my lips just so that they don't crease. Like when you smirk that little mark that comes up. Yeah, I don't want the makeup to crease there. And it tends to do that a lot. So I figured that when you put the setting powder, it prevents those creasing marks right there. And I dab that in a bit. And I'm also going to add some setting powder on my forehead just because I do have combination skin, meaning it's oily in my T-zone. So while I allow the setting powder just to sit on my face, I'm going to go in with my Cold on Cold blush. I really use a Pro Conceal Color Corrector just because I haven't found the blush that I like. But TikTok has shown me a blush and I do plan on purchasing it. So once I purchase it and I try it out, I'll let you guys know and I'll give you guys an updated routine. But for now, I stick to my color corrector and it works perfectly fine. Here, I use a bit too much honestly, but I want it to be a bit more dramatic with the blush. So that's how much I use, but you guys could use however much you want. If you want a little bit, if you want a lot, it's really up to you. Do your blush to your own liking. So I just put the blush on. And I'm blending it out with a different beauty blender. And I'm really just dabbing it in all the way. Now that I've allowed my setting powder to do its job on my face, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend it out a little bit. But honestly, using a makeup brush is kind of better just because you're really just dusting off that residue. There isn't really much to dab into your skin. You just want to brush off the remainder of the residue. And yes, it may look a bit white, it may look a bit ashy, dry, whatever you want to call it. But honestly, just trust the process. Like, just keep going. I used to give up when I see this. But I realized you just have to brush it out, blend it out more, and then you have to go back in and add more warmth to your face. Like I said, we're going to go back in and we're going to add warmth to the face. So I'm going in with the same True Complexion um, palette that I used to do the contour. And I'm going back over those same spots where I previously contoured, which are my cheekbones and my jawline and the perimeter of my hairline. And then this is a product that I recently bought and this is my first time using it. And I completely love this product. Like... I don't even know how to explain it, but it just made my look even better. So I was so happy I just tried it for this video. And I definitely recommend getting it as well. It makes the skin look very poreless. Is that what it's called? Like when your pores aren't really there? Anyways, it makes the skin look extremely smooth. And I absolutely love that look. So now we're coming down to the finishing touches. And I'm going to go in with my highlight, which I got from the beauty supply store. I'm going to highlight under my eyebrows and my nose bridge. Now I'm going to go in with a bigger brush and I'm going to use the highlight to highlight right above my cheeks I guess and right under my eyes, my nose, my jaw lines and I'm just going to blend out that highlight to really give it a bit more pigment and now this is a setting spray I use and I'm just going to spray a million times just to make sure my face is set. I like when my face feels wet after doing it. 
and then I'm gonna let it dry and now it's time for the lips I'm honestly not good at doing lips at all so you guys will see me kind of struggle a little bit so I just use a black pencil I outline my lips then I go in with my lip gloss and I use that as a bit of color and I use my beauty supply store lip gloss to finish the look off I can't really explain too much but just watch and hopefully yeah I can get what I'm trying to do but there really isn't much to do in the lips like everyone will want different lips some people might just like lip gloss but do it however you honestly want to do it and I hope you guys are excited because the finished product is coming up right now look at that this look was so much fun it's so flawless even though the lighting is a bit off it's a bit bright but I'm going to pause a clip so you guys can see the actual light and that's that that face looks gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.